but I've not seen because I stay in Bonny. Now, the only thing that was assigned to Bonny that I know of was when we went to a public hearing at Stadium Road in Portacourt. When they engaged us, they wanted to build a ring road project. When they came, the community stood their ground and told them, look, we need good expertise, technical expertise for this job because of our terrain. The salinity of our terrain is our concern. And we know that people who have this expertise are these people. The community took a position and told them, please bring these persons. But they didn't do that. They rather have brought some other person who came, did a jamboree and left. JCL, the company is still there. JCL, Jaffa Company Limited, the company is still there. Now, MLNG. Was the ring road built? Yeah, no, it was not. It was not. So what did they bring these people, as you call them, what did they bring them to do? Which one? You the said they brought Jaffa. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's, that I, I, be, I that's, think that's, I, I, that's I that should be the position about uh, Mother. I think I have to speak on this issue because I, I have um, well-grounded information on this very subject matter in terms of comparison between the NDDC and the NLNG. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to tell you the genesis of NLNG in Boni. When they came to Boni, I must give it to the king. Of Bonnie. He has this ingenuity when it comes to negotiation. The NLNG under the GIC, however, reached an MOU with Bonnie Kingdom. And in that MOU, there were some projects that they were supposed to deliver under the MOU for 16 years. And it was that MOU that delivered the BBC. That is Bonny Vocational Center. That MOU, what class athlete, I must tell you, they have expatriates in that training center, training our youths. That same MOU delivered to Bonny Kingdom 24 hours power supply in Bonny Main Town, Ogwede, Abalamabie, and Filima. Now, Nigeria, Nigeria is asking. Give us power, we will industrialize. That's not the Bonnie story. We have power. Bonnie has power 24 so hours. So I say that investors should even come to Bonnie and invest. Cut C and LNG. We have 24 hours power supply. But how big is Bonnie Island? Bonnie is big. If you want to look at the vast expense of our villages and you try to combine it with the Bonnie mainland, of course Bonnie is big. How can you give land? Do you know that there is an extra trip in Bonnie? You know what it takes for to it to be the wrong way? Only has land. But you describe it as a small island. No, it is an you island. You yourself it said is, it is an island. You said it was a small it is island. An island. It is an island. And I was tempted to ask, so what is the population of Bonny? Bonny population be somewhere around 200,000 persons. So that's what NLNG delivered under that project. Amongst other projects in the area of healthcare, I think they built a bakery uh, in Finima, Bonny, and so many other projects. Scholarships to not just Bonny people. NLG scholarship covers the whole of Nigeria. Nigeria data inclusive. Madam, you are aware. Now, on the issue of N N N NDDC, in terms of comparison, the question is, what has NDDC done for Boni Kingdom? Madam, nothing. Nothing. Nothing has been done by the NDDC in Boni Kingdom. Not a single project. Now, that takes us back to the issue of those persons who are actually conversing for this 3%. The prof that was here, if you listen to him, and I must give it to him, very knowledgeable in terms of policy making. Prof took time to tell the world that he was instrumental to the NDDC Act. He was instrumental to the formation of the board itself, the commission itself. But there is something I did not hear from Prof. prof. Somebody who is, who, whose NDC uh, NDC is your brainchild, and you come from Bonnie Kingdom, and there is no single project done by your baby NDC. I am not angry. I am surprised. Are not you angry. claiming that the NDC has NDC, no NDC. project in Bonnie? No single project. I challenge anybody. Let them bring pictorial evidence. There is no single project. Not a signboard. Okay, so now that they are saying. According to the amendments that NDDC and NLNG should pay 3% to NDDC, 
don't you think that will give the NDDC room and the resources Enough funds. to build the project? I think uh, I have to say something clearly here about um, the president, chairman of BGF. His assignment is to canvass for jobs for the Niger Deltas, including Bonnet graduates. My assignment here goes beyond Speak. that. Goes beyond that. I'm also speaking in dual capacity, like, I, like you earlier mentioned, as the president of the vineyard. So I can tell you that if, God forbid, God forbid, and if, God forbid, that NLNG pays 3% to NDDC, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Water Lines in Port Harcourt. That money will not pass Water Lines. How much more body they go to money? Not a dime will get to money. 3%. So far, has been paid by um, Shell. Shell is in Bonny, isn't it? Three percent is being paid by Mobile. Then Bonny, how come the three percent paid by Shell, Mobile, and Chevron does not qualify Bonny to have a project from the NDDC? Is it when LNG pays that's when they will qualify to have a project for us? Let me tell you about the NDDC Act, Section Seven, Subsection One A, that talks about the functions of the NDDC, which I believe, Prof actually inserted that in that NDDC Act. You know what it says? The number one function of the NDDC is water transportation, sir. And as you speak, Bali is the only local government area in Nigeria that is not connected by road. What it does imply is that the framework of the NDDC Act actually saw Bali before they went to work. So water transportation is a primary concern in the Act. Now the question is, has NDDC done any investment in water transportation in Bonny Kingdom? The answer is no. Just recently, I'm sure you were aware, eight persons died in the Bonny River. Eight persons died. And since the inception of NDDC, since uh, I think that's 17 years ago, over 1,000 Bonny persons have died in that Bonny River because we don't have a road to Bonny. This same NMNG that we want to crucify. I came and said, no, we can't watch this boat die in Bonny River. We are going to commit 60 billion naira. 60 billion naira. That is the highest CSR in the history of CSR in the world. 60 billion naira to 